Hey, this is Nate. Welcome back for another video on this channel. Today, we will, of course, have to talk about the, the Fiverr's um, account that or the challenge that I trade for a few um, weeks now. And uh, many people already saw in the stream that the account changed. And the reason for this is, of course, that I blew my previous account. So this is where my account is running. You can see this is on the second side. This is the left, uh, the second 100K account or challenge that I now have with the Fivers. And this account just started today. It's the first day of trading. Two trades were lost already. Two trades are open. So overall, this account is down about 1%. And what happened to the previous account? Mm, to look at this, first of all, we can have a look at the, the Fivers, this uh, um, dashboard. The problem is, even though the balance is still... 39,000 or was 39,000 for my old account, I still lost it. And this was actually my mistake because I did not uh, calculate with a daily loss of 5% because usually if you trade four strategies and risk 1% in each strategy, you cannot reach the 5%, but I did not calculate with slippage. Yeah, we can see here that on the 24th, uh, so last Friday when I recorded this video, uh, there were losses greater than 5,000 USD and this is of course not allowed and will breach the 5% drawdown rule. Um, yeah, we can also see it here. It went down quite a lot last um, last Friday. Um, but let's have a look at, at what actually <clears throat> what actually happened. And we can see here, for example, in my other account, we can clearly see this was last Friday. I trade the same or similar strategies. And last Friday there was a news event and therefore... Uh, the trades were stopped out and that is not the problem because as I said, I calculated with a maximum loss of 4% if all trades are stopped out, stopped out. The problem was just that there was a lot of slippage and we can see it here also in this upper chart. Uh, there's a big loss or there was a big loss in GPS dollar and the losses here were a lot bigger than they should have been and this is what, yeah, what caused the, uh, the loss of the account. So, Long story short, I started a new account. I will. I, I decided to still um, go on with this challenge because I kind of said I would uh, document this from the start up until passing um, the challenge. Um, and yeah, that's why I, I just created a new account. It is not a problem to lose a prop firm account, especially if you go with high risk as I do here in this account. It's completely normal. It's not not, not something that is... Um, unexpected or like a catastrophe it's just part of the process kind of um, if you trade with high risk and if you plan to pass the challenge relatively quickly then there's also a high chance of course that you lose relatively quickly the only thing that is uh, of course bad and that was 100% my my mistake that I did not uh, uh, take any action or added code to prevent the uh, breach of the 5% drawdown rule during one single day because that was a little bit stupid because the account still had 3 or 3.5k of buffer um, that I now cannot use or utilize because I lost the account because of the 5% uh, drawdown rule. But yeah, that's a quick update on this account. So now there's a new account running. Uh, again, live stream is, 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 is working, so you can watch it online uh, every single time. And if there's something happening to this account, if I either pass or fail, you will see it in the stream. And also I will give you an update, of course, here on YouTube. So that's the update. Um, yeah, besides that, nothing changes. I just uh, logged into my new account here. Uh, I purchased a new account, of course, logged into my new account. I used the exact same settings. I was thinking about adding a 5% um, max drawdown, um, yeah, like safety mechanism. But since I'm going on vacation uh, in the next week, I probably will not do it before that. And I think personally, to be honest, the risk of the 5% loss during one single day is relatively small. So I'm fine with that. And that's the update for now. Um, yeah, now I'll keep you posted if something happens. Until then, have a great time. Good trades. Bye-bye.